can be a pain to set up gyro and flick stick in every game. So here's how you can get consistent results with a template that can be used in almost every game. This won't be an in-depth guide, for that you will want to see my in-depth guide. <laughs> Use the beta updates on Steam and enable big picture overlay and calibrate your controller. To use beta updates on Steam, just go on Steam, settings, then beta participation, then change and change none to Steam beta update and click OK. You will need to restart Steam. To enable big picture overlay, go to Steam settings in game and toggle use the big picture overlay when using a steam input enable controller from the desktop and to calibrate your controller go to steam settings controller general controller settings and depending on which controller you're using toggle playstation configuration support or switch configuration support or combine pairs of joy-con controllers then click on the detected controller go to calibrate then click on start gyro only calibration and leave the controller on the table for a couple seconds. Remember to not toggle auto calibrate gyro during use, this will ruin your game. After the calibration is completed, just hit OK and exit. Now, open the game you want to set up. For me, it will be Overwatch. In game, press the home button to bring up the scene overlay and activate gyro. Make sure that the sensitivity is at the default value. We don't want to fiddle with the Steam settings for now. We want to rotate the controller 360 degree until we find the in-game mouse sensitivity that make this rotation exactly 360 degree in-game as well. After a lot of testing, I found the right value, which is 1.85% for Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and 37 for PlayStation controllers. This is awesome, because now you can have final control of your gyro using Steam. So now you can make any further modifications you want and translate them with aim labs. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This is my perfect settings. On Steam Big Picture mode, you can have fine control of the exact values of the sliders. But there is a trick. You see, if you press the window key and go to your Steam, you can right click the game icon Go on Manage, Controller Layout, and it will open the Steam Deck menu. And here, you can literally type the sensitivity you want. I like 195. And now, boom, perfect settings. Now, don't forget to export this config as a new template. And don't forget to write down in the description the game sensitivity, because that will be important later. Now, how can we copy the settings to other games? Download Aimlabs and on the sensitivity settings, choose the game that you are playing. For me, it will be Overwatch. And set the sensitivity the same that you put in the game. Done! Now, when you change for any other game, Aimlabs will translate the sensitivity to other games, giving you perfect flick stick and the same gyro sensitivity in every game. Unfortunately, this method isn't perfect. Sometimes the in-game sensitivity won't go down enough, and you will have to use other values on Steam or redo all of the steps. I usually have a preset to 10% on Steam as well, instead of 100%, but if you put a low sensitivity on Steam, you could end up with a jittery movement. You can also do a simple rule of 3. You probably learned about the rule of 3 in school, so now it will be finally useful. For example, in Borderlands, the minimal sensitivity is 10, which isn't low enough to achieve one-to-one -one sensitivity. What I had to do is put the Steam gyro sensitivity at 40%. So, 100% was the default. Now, the new one-to-one -one sensitivity is 40, and I like to use 195%. So the right value that I should put in this new configuration is 78. And that's it! Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more motion control games and tips.